The use of clarity can add selective contrast to your image. It's great because it really improves the dynamic range without overdoing it. As we look at this photo here, there's a lot of detail, bright highlights, dark shadows. If we take a look at the histogram, you see that it's pretty well covered, but the use of clarity here is going to help. Watch how it pushes out that dynamic range, and we've got richer details in the shadows. I'll also click Auto here and get a nice balance, and what you see is that clarity really helped. Now, a lot of people overdo clarity. I don't recommend a value of 100. In fact, a little bit of clarity with some texture is a nice way to bring out the detail. You see there that it really did a good job of enhancing things, but texture is being a bit aggressive on that out of focus area. So if you've got a lot of shallow depth of field, don't get too aggressive on that texture. Let's take a look at another image here. We'll do the same thing. We'll choose auto to get the right balance and then watch clarity come to the rescue. It really just brings out the detail there in both the sky and those rocks, emphasizing the difference between the light and the dark areas. Little bit of texture, and we've really brought that image back to life. With both texture and clarity, they work hand in hand. One is going to emphasize more the areas of dark versus light, and the other is going to bring out more of the detail but using them together in gentle amounts can go a long way to improving your image.